There's a new plan to add more bike lanes to parts of Pittsburgh. Specifically, the city's eyeing parts of the Strip District and Lawrenceville. But critics say it would take away parking and make the streets too narrow. Nicole Ford is live with a look at the plans. Nicole. Christine, this draft was just released this morning and it's five years in the making. Now, whether it's adding more barriers like the ones behind me or spreading out these bike lanes to be wider, the city says their main goal, just make the streets safer. Spread throughout Pittsburgh are 70 miles of bike lanes. But city officials say that's just not enough. We want to give people more choices, more ways to travel, a high level of comfort when they do, um, and really rationalize the streets. After five years, the Bike Plus plan is drafted and ready for community input. The plan is that it's going to uh, close gaps in the network and really create a full network for everybody. And it's also going to eliminate some of the stress and confusion that everybody feels on our streets. These maps show the Bike Plus lanes pushing farther into the north side neighborhoods and south side of the city. Connection, one of the main goals for the Department of Mobility and Infrastructure. About 25% of full one quarter um, of the driving trips in our city are less than a mile. So uh, imagine if we could remove 25% um, of the vehicles from our traffic congested streets. The plan has 120 miles laid out across dozens of neighborhoods. There are some, though, that are not yet complete. Where those blue arrows are, those are places where there are uh, parallel streets that could be assigned uh, as being the one that is most inviting for bicycle travel. Those arrows simply indicate that those are places where we'll go into consultation with the community. While you may think the new network will impact only cyclists, drivers could see changes on the roads as lanes are narrowed and parking eliminated. There's still an opportunity for your voice to be heard. The city's hosting community input meetings throughout the month of February, and then they'll have their final plan by March. They hope to see some of these changes on the streets come the end of the year. We're live in Oakland tonight. Nicole Ford, KDK News.